Yo, what's poppin', guys? And I have a question for you, okay? Have you ever been using Scratch, right? And while you were doing it, you're like, okay, this is all, this is good and all. I'm having a good time. However, this is a small box right here. I can't do much with this box. I want to make this box bigger. And maybe, maybe you've looked into it. Maybe you've looked at some stuff. Maybe you've gone to some files or some edits to try to figure out how to do it. And you can't do it. And that's because you can't do it. Scratch doesn't allow you to do that. Scratch is uh, automatically a 480 by 360 canvas size for when you're creating your games. Um, w w do you want to you wanna make that a little bit bigger of a size? I can show you how to make that a little bit bigger of a size. Well, boom, it's right here. It's this thing. Um, you probably know what Turbo Warp is if you're a Scratch user. It's... Uh, Normally, what it's used for is to use to make your games run smoother, normally at a 60 FPS, and uh, can make like infinite cloning values and th other things like that. However, th there's way more things that this Turbo Warp can do. So, if you type, if you go to the link in the description or turbowarp.org slash org slash editor, you'll get a normal looking scratch editor. However, you'll this will be here instead of the cat, so that's one thing it's doing good, right? But let's say you want to do some cool things okay for example if you come up to this advanced tab right here you can do a lot of cool things one you can have 60 fps or a custom number of F fps scratch automatically by itself normally runs at 31 to 32 fps that's commonly what it does by itself you can make it run at 60 fps by doing by just turning this on um interpolation if you don't know what interpolation is um, basically what it does is it'll take your animation and add more frames in between the already created frames that you have created. So if you have three frames, it'll add frames in between those three frames to make it look smoother. Um, that works on a lot of circumstances. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit. High quality pen, just, you know, obviously pens at a higher resolution, very easy stuff like that. So like it, it almost makes the pen look vector. That's probably not the, the, the correct cloning I can use cloning I, I just read the word cloning <laughs> the right <laughs> statement to use there uh, warp timer it's just a, a timer you, you know it. Um, you can remove the, the fact that so if you didn't already scratch is a 300 clone limit you can only have 300 clones before it will not allow you to create anymore you can just get rid of it using this you can get rid of fencing and miscellaneous limits so you know fencing mo you know uh, if you've ever been trying to move a scratch object like you have a sprite and you use wsd to move it it gets to the edge of your screen and then it doesn't go off the screen it just like sits at the side that'll get rid of that and then miscellaneous limits all the other stuff <laughs> stupid stuff and now here's the big one your custom stage size again scratch casually has it at 480 by 360 that is what they use but however, if you wanted to make it a big size, such as, for example, if you wanted a YouTube thumbnail size, you'd have 1280 by 720. Okay? If you wanted a YouTube video size, you'd do 1920 by 1080. That's the resolution of a lot of monitors. So let's say you did do that, right? We're going to reload this page and then boom. <laughs> you have to be canvas. You have to be canvas have fun editing in here nerd <laughs> but yeah let's, let's say we turn it on to like 1280 by 720 that's probably still way too much oh my goodness but you get it you get it you, <laughs> you can't mess around with so you just wanted like 800 by oh no we'll do like you wanted like 1000 boy i don't know 800 uh Boom. I mean, you can't, you can't access your, your sprites anymore. <laughs> but you get it. You can make it do your thing. You can make it like a 10 by 10 if you really if you really wanted that. I don't know why you'd want that, but I mean, hey. <laughs> you could if you really wanted to. Sorry. I'm <laughs> having too much fun. Okay. Back to teaching you some stuff. Anyways. Uh, you'll realize over here, uh, under my blocks, you have more stuff called the Turbo Warp blocks. Uh, and here it says the other blocks have been removed. Um, but we have a block called this compiled. <laughs> and it just checks if your project is compiled. It's a very basic thing. They used to have some other stuff, like, I know they used to have a block that had the glass key pressed. And you could always use it, so, like, if you pressed D, and then it could detect that your last key pressed was D. Uh, I don't know what they did with that, but otherwise, yeah, all this other stuff's 
other stuff's the same. Obviously, you can load custom URLs and stuff. It, it's a it's a it's a different thing. Oh yeah, here look, there it is, there it is. If you add, if you just add that, you can get the last key pressed. Oh hey, look at that. So let's press like U. I just pressed U. I know you can't see that, but there, that approved it. See, so just like I guess it was F. Nah. <laughs> then you got this one. If primary mouse is down. Oh, what's that? Middle? Oh, it's your middle mouse. It detects if your mouse is clicked. That's what it does. Isn't that crazy? It's like your middle mouse. I'm holding it down. I wonder if I can even do it at the same time. Well, yeah, no, I can't right now, but. Because <laughs> I don't think I can physically click both at the same time. Maybe I can do right. No, I can't. I can't do both. Either way, you get it. It's super cool. It removes noise limits. It, it removes, it, like it removes all these funny noise limits. You know, you can just kind of have a have a good old time. My microphone is way too close to my face. I'm very sorry. So you know, look at that. It, like it removes all these funny <laughs> noise limits. You know, you can just have... I forgot how bad the scratch recorder is. I don't have a second microphone that it's using. It li like literally like, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. But yeah, go ahead. Come in here and you have some fun. You have some fun. Okay? You go have fun. Turn on these settings. Make your canvas any any size you want. It it doesn't matter. Make your <laughs> make the size any size you want. Yeah. Go have a blast. I mean, granted, don't make it too big, because again, you literally can can like not access your uh you know your sprites so that's probably a bit, a bit of an issue but other than that you should be just fine so that's what i'm gonna leave the, this video a quick little tutorial not very anything super special but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it then like it and if you didn't like it like it anyways because man i want to see people using this more especially that uh not fr framing isn't the right word the uh different canvas sizes because you know you could do some cool stuff with that especially if you use fencing as well that could be really, really cool of some, 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 some of the stuff you could do with that. And I definitely want to see what you guys can come up with when you're doing stuff like that. So definitely for sure be doing stuff because I want to see it. I'm excited to see what you guys could come up with. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it and like it, I just said that. Um, while you're at it, I want to subscribe to my channel if you do my content. That helped me out a lot. We're growing really fast, really quickly. Uh, that, that was a double entendre. Uh, and redundant sorry but thank you so much for it. it it honestly means a lot i mean it's crazy that i can just do this and people watch it and actually enjoy the content it's crazy to me um go ahead and join the discord look at the description so you can talk about stuff i might be starting a second channel um specifically for gaming content so like this channel would stay scratch if i decide to make the second account this this account would stay scratch and like scratch only and then my second account would be all game stuff. It'd be a slow transition. Like I'd still post gaming content here for a little bit and like just remind you guys that, hey, I have a second channel. If you wanna watch gaming stuff, go check that other one. So I might be doing that in the near future. There should be a thing on my community tab. You haven't voted already, go ahead and vote. I think, yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, but sorry for a little bit of rambling. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Have fun with this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you to our editor.